I'm here to talk to you about the pros and cons of living in the Sloan's Lake area. If you haven't been to my channel before, we talk about everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, living, and having fun here in the Denver metro area. I'm here at the Sloan's Lake area and we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living here. Take a moment and make sure that you smash that like button, leave a comment below so I can make you videos that you're looking for, and also subscribe button so you get all the updated videos. So we've been getting a ton of calls and emails about people moving here. So if you need to get a hold of me, do whatever you need to do, text me, call me. Uh, I'm always working and we're always happy to help you. Let's first talk about the history of Sloan's Lake has lots of interesting history. So first of all, Sloan's Lake really knows how it got here. And also there's debate about whether it's Sloan's Lake or Sloan Lake. So officially, my mother always called it Sloan's Lake, so I'm going with Sloan's Lake. They changed the signs a while back, so they said Sloan's Lake, but lots of locals still debate about it. So back in the day, there used to actually be a swim beach here. There was also a carnival that was here. They had a zoo. But back when there was the swim beach and all that, I even have pictures of my mother being here. And she used to talk about coming here um, and ice skating here and a ton of fun for her. I don't know that it gets cold enough that this ice would actually freeze enough for people to skate on nowadays, but she had a great time doing it. The other history about this lake is, it, like I said, it came out of nowhere. So the legend has it, but has never been proven in history, is that there was a farmer um, named Mr. Sloan, and he had a farm, and he actually drilled a well. And when he drilled that well, he hit an aquifer, and the next day, there started to form a lake. Now, there used to be a road that would run through here that would go to Golden, which is another one of our suburbs of Denver, and that, road is now gone and um, everybody uses Colfax, West Colfax now because that road is obviously no longer here. This is also the largest body of water in the Denver County area and it takes about two and a half miles to walk around the whole entire lake. So one of the main benefits and pros of living here is all the recreation that's provided by this lake. Whether you want to walk around or you can also paddleboard here, you can actually boat here and water ski on a motorboat as well. So that is one fun thing about living in Sloan's Lake. First of all, there's a huge diversity of different types of housing here. You've got old 1930s bungalows and you've got new, newer slot homes. Slot homes are just kind of areas where they've they had a small space and they put a small home that's kind of stacked and people kind of either love those or hate those and there's been some laws and changes around those but there's also um, newer homes that have been scraped and rebuilt that are really beautiful and I'll show you some examples of those but um, that is one of the pros of living here is you can find lots of different types of housing. Another pro of Sloan's Lake, the Sloan's Lake area, is one of the only places where you can actually get a photo of both the lake, the sun, and the mountains at the same time. So another pro of living here is there's some cute, quaint restaurants and breweries. There's a couple, just a few in the Sloan's Lake area, and then there's one in um, Edgewater, which is, you know, an area that's close by. But I also had one resident tell me he thought it was actually a con because he thought that there should be more, more of those restaurants. But with all the development going on around here, I can't imagine that there isn't going to be more added, um, more things to do. There is the Alamo Draft House that's close by, so you can always check that out. One of the other disadvantages of living here in the Sloan's Lake area is the cost. It's pretty expensive to live around here. The median cost of a home here is around $603,000. So that's pretty steep, but you might also look into some of the surrounding areas. And I'm gonna go over a map that goes in detail about all of those surrounding areas. Like I mentioned earlier, Edgewater is a cute town that's just on the other side of the lake. And it has some nice little restaurants. There's a King Supers there, a Target, and lots of little restaurants. It has also its own cute little downtown area. 
and you can find lots of little eateries down there, places to shop, and it'll take you down into that 500,000 range. I also had a client who recently purchased a home that was about, I'd say less than a mile from here. It was a new build and he spent about 350,000. It is a small place and he did put the contract on it almost a year ago. It was a new build, so it took a while to close. So there are some options that are close by this area, but maybe just not in walking distance to the lake. So one other con I want to talk about, I suppose could be also a pro for some people, is that Sloan's Lake is in a pretty, uh, it's on the edge of a ur very urban area because it's Denver. You are close to Mile High Stadium, which, you know, could be good for you, um, close to Jefferson Park. And as you can see, so anything in here that is um, light purple or almost white, like Sloan's Lake, that means the crime's pretty low. These darker areas means that there's higher crime rates. So you are kind of surrounded by, by these other areas that may be higher crime rates. So that and your population's higher than they would be, you know, out in the suburbs or different places. But if you're looking for a more urban place to live, uh, Sloan's Lake, that could still be a pro for you because maybe you want to be in proximity to downtown and you don't mind the population uh, density, but you also just like the fact that this one little particular area is pretty low in crime and so same things with um, West Highlands as well. So just take that into consideration when you're thinking about the pros and cons of living in Sloan's Lake. Okay, let's take a look at the map because I know we said we were going to do that. Obviously, this right here in the middle is Sloan's Lake. It is in Denver County. So a lot of those homes that I was driving by and showing you are here in this area. When I was recording and talking to you, I was on this side, um, east side of the lake, which is closer to downtown Denver. So Sloan's Lake is bordered by some major streets. You got Sheridan going down here and obviously Lakewood, which would be another city, which is actually in Jefferson County instead of Denver County, and Edgewater, which talk, we talked about, which is actually also in Jefferson County, and then Wheat Ridge as well. So it's also a very popular place to live. So on the other side of 29th up here, you have um, West Highlands, and then over here to the east, of the Sloan's Lake neighborhood, you have Jefferson Park. So this is what you're surrounded by. Uh, as you zoom in here, you can see how close you are to, to Araria and the downtown area, which is on the other side here of I-25. And then you're also right on the edge of Colfax. Colfax um, has been deemed before in the past as one of the longest roads in America. It's actually the longest commercial road in America. But it is really long. It goes all the way from the far west up into the foothills, all the way east to Aurora. So we're talking West Colfax here that's surrounded by Sloan's Lake. And that's just kind of a quick overview of the different areas you could live in. Again, that are near Sloan's Lake, you've got Highlands, uh, West Highlands, uh, Jefferson Park, uh, Mile High Vista, which is just that area. Um, over here off of Sloan's Lake, they right over here on the edge here is where they've rebuilt uh, all of St. Anthony's. Uh, it was a hospital that they took down and they put new condos up. There's a condo called the Lake House, condos called the Lake House, which are newly built and other various condos around there. And so lots of opportunity to live in other places. Like I said, if you go Lakewood, over here things are a little bit less expensive and you will get you know the light rail station is fairly close over here as well to get you downtown so that's the map of sloan's lake and i hope that helps you out so that's it for the pros and cons of living in the area i will tell you it was really really difficult to come up with those cons for living here in the sloan's lake area and that's probably because it's so uh, popular to live here and so nice that um, that's why the price point is so high. 
But with that being said, make sure you check out my video on the cost of living in Denver and maybe that can help you out.